Time now for an all new Miami Proud. Palm trees, beaches, and flamingos, images mm -hmm. that instantly come to mind when you think Florida, and you don't have to be a bird enthusiast to appreciate these creatures. Of course not. They are so pretty and so unique, but have you ever seen one in the wild? Well, the conservation team at Zoo Miami is hoping one day we all can. Here's CBS 4's anchor, Carly Barnett. There's no bird that's more tied up with the image of South Florida than the flamingo. These American flamingos greeting visitors at Zoo Miami every day are actually descendants of the Hialeah Park birds, famous for the Miami Vice show Open. The beautiful birds are unmistakable and fun to watch. I think of the ways that they're kind of like South Florida. They're a little bit crazy, brightly colored, uh, unique, um, and they're a little bit of a riot. There's populations of flamingos like this around the Caribbean, in Cuba, in the Bahamas, in Mexico, and Venezuela. Um, and there used to be populations of flamingos like this here in Florida. But the story of the flamingo is sad and a little complicated. There used to be large flocks of flamingos in Florida. Through the 1800s, biologists described large flocks of flamingos here. They were hunted for food and their brilliant feathers nearly to extinction. But there are efforts underway to help the species recover here. Whitfield formed a team of local and international experts, the Florida Flamingos Working Group. Their mission is bolstered by occasional sightings. Every once in a while, a flamingo will show up in Florida Bay in the Everglades and bird watchers go nuts. No one knows where these birds are coming from. Are they the last flamingos still surviving after hunting? Are they flying in from populations around the Caribbean? In 2015, they got a lucky break. So one of these birds appeared at the um, Naval Air Station in Key West and we went and captured him. They named him Conky for the Conk Republic, tagged and released and tracked him for two years before he went off the grid. Conky was only spotted by bird watchers a handful of times over two years. So that shows Whitfield they could be hiding in plain sight. The team is working to assess habitats ideal for flamingos with mudflats for nesting and foraging. They do believe the birds can make a comeback. I think we can do this because nations with less resources have already shown it works. And so all around the Caribbean, wherever flamingos live, their populations have been restored by biologists. Carly Barnett, CBS 4 News. By the way, Whitfield says that they had to get the state to recognize American flamingos as native in order for them to release conky, but they are not on the list of endangered species. He says, if you happen to spot a flamingo, it's crucial to report it. And yes, there is an app for it. It is called eBird. For more information on this and all of our Miami Proud stories, just go to our website, cbsmiami.com. As far as Miami Proud is sponsored by FPL. At FPL, we're always planning, preparing, and investing in an energy future Florida can depend on. See how at fpl.com slash value.